Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimples on Demand. Today we have something very special. I am joined by Miss Steph on the pedal. Hello. So today we are doing a collab video and she's amazing. She's great. I uh, cannot wait for you guys to see this video. So hello, Miss Steph. How are you? Well, hello there. I am <laughs> just fine and dandy. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm hanging in there. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So, um, today we're just going to be, you know, chit chatting. We have spoken before. Everyone knows you're amazing. And I want everyone on my channel to see your personality <laughs> and how great you are. So, I'm going to just ask you a few questions and we'll just have some back and forth banter. Just, you know, the regs. <laughs> All the flattery. <laughs> <laughs> So, as we know, um, our worlds have been turned upside down within a matter of three or four short weeks. And with that, we have all had to make some changes. So, can you tell me a little bit about your city and what your channel is about and, you know, how you're operating through the madness? Yeah. So, um my channel, uh, it originally started as like an Uber and Lyft ride share cha channel, but um, it's kind of adapted into basically I'm just focusing on Instacart right now, which, um, you know, I hope to cover some of the other gigs as well. But just for this point in time, that is uh, definitely my main focus. But yeah, it, you know at least in my area, I know that driving Uber and Lyft are, it's still okay in some markets, but right. here in Denver, it's definitely not. So, you know, I started noticing a decline and, um, that was income that I was dependent on. So even though that wasn't my only source of income, I still need that. Right, and right. that's when I decided to um, make the transition. I actually signed up for everything, like literally like everything I could think of, I signed up for. Um, it just so happened that I was like most excited about trying Instacart. And I was right about that because I really do <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, that's where I am now. And I mean, it's funny. It's like, I can't believe I was ever a ride share driver and it's only, I've only right. been doing this, you know, for some it's weeks a whole now, new but world. it's so <laughs> much different, but right. honestly, I feel like so much better. I mean, for a right. variety of reasons, but yeah, it's great. Nice. Nice. Like nice. It. So you mentioned the transition just now. Tell me how that transition was going from being a primarily a rideshare person to now an Instacart shopper. Was it scary? Mm. Were you like, you know what? I just got to do this because I still got bills to pay. Like, what yeah. was that like? Yeah, I was really nervous about Instacart at first. I actually put out a video of my first day. And I, I mean, I was, I had so much anxiety. It was crazy. I just, man, I don't know. I, it just felt weird just because right. I hadn't been, I mean, just being out there in the world with, you know, I was kind of trying to stay in as much as I could anyways, but I knew that I wasn't going to be able to keep that up because I had to make money. So I, you know, going to the grocery store with it being just like the apocalypse, it just, it was just so much game. different. <laughs> right. Exactly. And that, and you know, my first few batches with Instacart, I mean, there's just, there's a little bit of skill involved with Instacart. So I think kind of being thrown to the wolves, especially trying to learn at a time, like, like this when you know this isn't normal instacart this is like it's not instacart on steroids or crack right. or something i don't know but yeah i mean just just kind of trying to figure it out had, was definitely a challenge but you know i i don't think it really took me too long to kind of get in the rhythm and you know i'm not going to claim that i know everything now i'm sure i still have a ton to learn about it but um yeah i feel confident and comfortable going out and shopping now. Whereas, you know, my first day I was just a wreck. Right. But, right. Right. Yeah. So what are some of the strategies that you have incorporated while you're shopping? Oh, that's a good one. I should have asked you that. Dang it. <laughs> Why didn't I ask you that? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. I like this. So I always send a message when I first get to the store. You mean these kinds of strategies, right? Yep. Right. Okay. 
So when I first arrived to the store, I always send a message letting them know um, that I'm going to begin shopping. I want them to keep, I say that I'd like them to keep an eye on their app to look for changes and replacements. Um, and then I say that it's easier if they either approve or deny those changes straight through their app rather than going through chat. So I, I mean, I feel like by doing that, it, it's kind of eliminated a lot of the messaging back and forth that I feel like right. takes a long time. Um, so there's, there's that. And then also I had a hard time with produce at first because I, Ooh, produce. yeah, so I, I am not a fan. Oh, produce. really? I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. So I wasn't really thinking. And, uh, I mean, now what I do is I go grab all my produce bags at once. I count out how much produce I have or try to come close to it. And then I go grab all the produce and I don't enter anything into the app until I actually like walk over to the scale and then right. I'll sit there at the scale and like do it all at once. But I wasn't doing that at first. I was like grabbing right. something and then going and weighing it and putting that up and then going and grabbing something else. And like that takes way too long. It does. Know. And then remember the stores are like flooded with Instacart shoppers and some I supermarkets know. only have one scale. So it's like, mm. it definitely takes too long. Yes. Do most of your stores only have one scale? Um, yeah. And really? if they have more than one, so we have one like analog scale. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. but then like the fancier supermarkets they do have the digital but for some reason all of them are broken but the one you know so we're Aww. all hovering around that one anyway okay yeah. yeah which you know it is what it is so the next question i have is you have your strategies down packed you're over the anxiety phase you are communicating with your customer mm -hmm. how do you close out that trip to make it like a smooth transaction? Do you like send them another quick message at the end or, you know, just leave at the door and walk away, see it when I see it type of thing? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, well, before I even go check out, I, I wanna say like maybe five items before checkout, I say, hey, I'm almost finished. Is there anything else you'd like to add to your order? Um, so hopefully if they haven't looked at their app at my changes, they do at that point is kind of my right. thought process. And then like sometimes, yeah, maybe they will add something and that's almost always, at least from my experience seems to increase my tip or, yeah. um, something of that nature. So, but yeah, I, I mean, I think you're, you're more so maybe talking about, uh, after delivery. Is that what you were focused like, on? As you're dropping the bags off or like right before dropping them off, do you send like another quick message? Like I like to say it was my pleasure shopping for you today. Okay. You know? Yeah. Just to yeah. like seal the deal type of thing. I don't yeah, know if it sure. helps or if it hurts. I know a lot of people say that I communicate too much. It's too much texting. But I think that it helps. I think that they do appreciate yeah. that. Well, and I've I'll... heard time and time again, like no one texts me. No one sends me photos. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, really? So Yeah, I, I definitely, I, I try not to do it for everything, at least like while I'm shopping. But every now and then, like, I, I mean, I've had like kind of like, cutesy conversations with my customers that aren't even related to grocery shopping. I so, I mean, I mean, that's cool. And you know, it makes you kind of feel, I don't know, more excited about your day or something. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Right. Cause they understand for the most part, they know this is yeah. not easy. I yeah. think a lot of people think that it's easy and yes, it can be easy, but right. remember we're dealing with other shoppers, other yeah. regular grocery store shoppers and everyone yeah. is like, panic and in a frenzy so it's not it can get difficult especially but, when the replacements are not there yeah i still didn't fully answer your question when <laughs> so i deliver mostly in the suburbs and it's to houses and so i always um i always ring the doorbell or knock on the door as i'm because i'm always doing the the contactless deliverer just like dropping right. bags on their front porch but i always just do it and like i walk away as soon as i ring it or knock on it just and go back and get another load or I just want to let them right. know that I'm there. Like more often than not, they end up opening the door and they want to chat with me for a second. So <laughs> yeah. So 
one lady, she's like, I'm making brownies. Do you want to come in? And I'm like, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Not a good time. I actually, I ended my day last week talking with a little older woman for like 30 minutes on her front porch. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> it was like, to me, like half of it for me, it was like, okay, this is really nice. And the other half was like, I'm ready to go. I gotta go. <laughs> like, I'm missing that I could, I could tell that it meant like a lot to her. And, you right. know, in the end. She like, probably hasn't seen anyone exactly. in forever. She was really lonely. So. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I just in chat with her i don't know good i mean it's it's good to be nice to people i mean it makes not only is it you know it makes you feel good too it's it's good for everybody i always say it's so much harder to be mean it is just be nice yeah yeah for sure yeah so i want to let everyone know that steph has a facebook that you can oh thank you Go to her um, Facebook page and you can ask her questions. She is very responsive. So please plug your Facebook so everyone can know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Like, that's my, it's my turn now. <laughs> uh, so my Facebook group is... <laughs> I just started oh, it. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's okay. Sorry. Woo! It is Instacart Shoppers by Steph on the Pedal. So that's Great. kind of a mouthful, but I mean, maybe not so hard to find. Yeah. Good, good, good. Shoppers by Steph on the pedal. Yeah. Good. So yeah. if you have questions, you can definitely join her Facebook group and she'll be there. She'll be answering Thanks. those questions for you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to make your awesome. workload um, more. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I mean, I want people to come definitely. And I mean, maybe if more people join, it won't be just me answering everybody's question. I mean. Right. Right. Yeah. Cause then you'll have people that also are veterans. and can Exactly. Chime. That's what I'm hoping for. Cause I have questions too. Like, I don't know everything. <laughs> So prior to you starting the Facebook, did you yourself seek out other avenues, maybe like threads or yes. Reddit or whatever? Yeah, I did. I mean, that's the main reason why I wanted to start a Facebook group was because um, that's exactly how I was getting my information in the beginning was from other Instacart Facebook groups. Right. So, and yeah. I do think it is important to watch video channels like ours because mm. we are explaining and I know a lot of people are like, well, you should do this, you should do that, but we're doing it all. But you know, yeah. it's it's a compact way to show them. Like you know, recently you had a, um, you did one batch with us, and Which I was, that like, was oh, like, like, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so great. So is everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's great. Always great to have like another avenue to get information. So yeah, definitely. Thank Perfect. you. <laughs> You're welcome. So the last question that I have is now that things have gotten to the state that they're in, how are you going to pivot or approach the gig economy differently? Knowing what you know now, how are you going to approach a gig, con gig economy differently? Yeah. So, I mean, Uber and Lyft was definitely income that I, I needed and will continue to need probably for a little while. Um, not necessarily exactly Uber and Lyft, but just that additional income. So the thing is though, is like, I mean, really Instacart has kind of like opened up my mind to where I don't, I don't think I would want to go back to Uber or Lyft at this point. Like I like it. Okay. But just like, I mean, the biggest thing for me is my car. Like I, right. I don't want to keep putting that kind of mileage on my car and wearing my car down and the amount of money that I spend on gas. So I drive a Acura RDX. I had to put premium in that. Oh wow! And using mm -hmm. that for rideshare, like I didn't buy that car for rideshare. You know, I just <laughs> right. I just like found myself in a position where I needed rideshare, and I happened to have a car that had to put premium, which was not ideal. But yeah, right, right. I mean, I, I can't as long as um, you know Instacart stays strong after everything's done. Then there's there's no way I'm going back to rideshare driving. <laughs> I, I'm just like, I'm going to be perfectly honest, like, unless it's like specifically for some YouTube video, like on my own, I would not, right. back, I'll tell you that, but like, I've had like fantasies of like ripping the stickers <laughs> off my car and stuff. I'm like, I hate those <laughs> on my car. Like, why do I have to have those on? I don't want those on my car. So I know. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> so, but yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not like strictly into car either. I, I'm down right. to try some of the other gigs too. I'm definitely going to do that just to kind of explore. But I think it's going to be hard to be into car for me. I got to say, like, I'm yeah. not sure if I weren't doing YouTube, if I would actually. No, I would still be trying some of the other gigs just to be safe. Yeah. Because, yeah, you don't know what's what's you never happen. know. Like, I could be deactivated at any point in time and it maybe wasn't even of any fault of my own so right you never know yeah backups are good absolutely I think it's always good to have something in your back pocket because I was doing it's a car in 2017 and I put it on the shelf right and I came back to it and oh my god I'm so happy I came back so definitely it's good to be signed up to everything because you just never know yeah you never know. for sure or like you said in, in my video, you said <laughs> that you never know um, which ones you like, whichever one is making you money. And that's. I have no cool. loyalty stuff. Yeah. Not an ounce, not an ounce. <laughs> right. I go where the money is and it's probably bad to say that, but. No, I don't think there's yeah. anything wrong with that at all. I mean, yeah. you're not, you're not doing this for the companies that you're working for. You're doing this right. for you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We are so. not employees. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I gotta go with money is. Yeah. So, so those are all the questions that I have. I don't know if you want to ask me any questions. Oh, I don't think so. I, I think, I think, I think we got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. So everyone, please don't forget we are filming this collab. Steph is going to have a video on her channel. So please be sure to not only like this video and subscribe to this channel, Go on over to Steph's channel. Like, you have to subscribe. Come on. She's great. <laughs> she's doing Jazzy. <laughs> <laughs> so be sure to go to Steph's channel and check out the video that we did together over there. Also, do not forget about her Facebook group that she has. And one more time with the Facebook group. It is Instacart Shoppers by Steph on the Pedal. Right. It's and a lot. It's a mouthful. <laughs> Is that the only place that they can find you? Yeah, yeah, I'm not, honestly, like, I don't want to get in too deep. I, I'm not, right, I'm not right, trying right. to get all the socials going right now because I think I might explode. Okay. <laughs> it is a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> so that's it. That's all I have. Don't forget to like, Thank comment, you. and subscribe, and share this video. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Get it out there. Everywhere. So Just do Everywhere. it. <laughs> Big thumbs up and share that. <laughs> right. So thank you. This is great. You're great. Thank you, You're guys. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Until we meet again. Thank you for watching. All right. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye. <laughs>